Hello everyone. Uh, with this video, I want to show you how to generate an orthophoto by using 3D Zephyr program. Uh, but first, uh, I want to start start from the beginning of the process, which is uploading your photographs to the program and obtaining a 3D model. Uh, for this study, I will use a set of photographs uh, that I took before. Uh, uh, this is an old uh, traditional building and uh, I want you uh, to assume that uh, we need to draw a partial elevation uh, from this part of the building, let's say, and uh, we need to draw uh, this window and the uh, door next to it, which you cannot see here, but you may see uh, from this photograph. Uh, let's assume that we need to draw an elevation, a partial elevation, including uh, those uh, elements of the facade. As you know, we need a series of uh, photographs uh, to obtain a 3D model. Uh, on the photogrammetry uh, study uh, and I took uh, these photographs uh, and I paid attention uh, that uh, the photographs are uh, overlapping uh, to a certain extent. On a 3D Zephyr uh, program, uh, this, uh, on this workflow tab, we uh, start a new project here. Uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this stage is important. Uh, on this part, on this uh, window, you need to check this box first. Uh, it says Compute 3D Model After Project Creation. This is important for us. And the last box should be checked also. Uh, uh, it, it was uh, checked by default. Next, here we upload our photographs to the program. And we click next. Again, continue. This part is also uh, really critical. Uh, on the first part, uh, you choose a category uh, that define your uh, model best. As we are working on uh, an urban area, uh, we are working on buildings, we need to select uh, the urban category. The second part, uh, you can continue with the default setting, but if you want to uh, obtain a, a high quality uh, 3D model with a high resolution, uh, you can choose the deep option here. But we can continue with the default one now. Continue. This uh, part is related with the uh, density of the point cloud. Again, here we need to choose urban as a category and default as the preset value. Next part is related with the surface quality of mesh, urban and default values. Uh, by choosing them, we continue. And now you can see the summary of your selections and you can now uh, press this uh, run button on the upper part. Uh, the program has uh, generated a 3D model, as you see with this look, uh, but we uh, need to uh, rotate it. First, I change the view uh, according to the coordinates, then I rotate the 3D model with the help of this tool. 
I uh, recommend recommend you uh, doing this uh, process step by step. Uh, after bringing the model uh, to a certain angle like this, press apply, and then uh, the uh, orbit will change, and you can continue with the new orbit every time the orbit changes according to the new situation and then I can easily rotate the 3D view uh, it is uh, not possible uh, to make it exactly parallel to the uh, axis here uh, but uh, we try to make it uh, parallel to the axis as much as possible uh, with a sense of uh, proportion, actually. Okay, after uh, fitting the model to the coordinates, uh, we can now create the control points. For this, we use the two tools on the uh, right side of the screen. You see the title adding control points here and to uh, add control points from the screen, you can use this tool. And uh, I choose five uh, points on the screen uh, that I know they're on the same surface. Five. You can turn it off again from the same uh, button. As you see, the points are aligned because approximately they are on the same surface. And uh, I want to obtain an orthophoto from this wall uh, with I. I want to uh, draw an elevation uh, uh, of this wall. So uh, I uh, need to uh, define that wall surface first. And to define that surface, I use those, uh, I use uh, these uh, points. And now from the workflow, you can choose uh, create orthophoto from mesh and uh, you can <clears throat> create orthophoto uh, with reference to the axis if you want to do it you will use uh, you will check this box use the axis and with uh, z axis you can see the plan view with x axis you can see the front view. But we want to use our control points because we trust them more. So we need to use control points. And continue with the control points now. You are already uh, seeing the uh, view on the screen. This part, this first part, location part, the uh, width and height values are defining uh, the uh, resolution, the, the quality of the image. If you decrease them uh, too much, the resolution uh, will be decreased. And uh, you can zoom in to a specific part of the facade by using this part position parameters and you can change these values uh, if we increase the values as you see the frame the green frame uh, is uh, focusing on a specific uh, part of the facade 
but we don't need to do this now. And after uh, you finish with all the settings, you can press the uh, generate auto photo here and it will ask you a file location and uh, give a name and save it. Uh, the uh, photogrammetric image is on the file where we save it. This one. And uh, here you can also see another auto photo which I have uh, created before uh, by zooming uh, to the window. And you can see the resolution is really good here. And this is the plan view. Uh, which I have taken before by using the uh, z-axis as the reference axis for generating our or uh, generating auto photo. And after you finish to generate your auto photo, uh, the uh, last auto photo that you have created uh, is appeared on the uh, screen under this auto photo title as you see you can turn uh, you can go back to the to the 3d object 3d model by clicking mesh or by clicking uh, dance point cloud if you continue to create other auto photos from your model that's all and good luck.